Yanisopoulos. First attempt in this men's hammer throw, and to follow him, the raging gold medal favourite, Sean Carlin from Adelaide. You're going to see a complete comp <laughs> difference in size. You've got Dimmy fairly short and squat, and Sean an absolute man mount. Here he goes. Very good speed in the ring. Let's it go. Just a bit over the 60 metre mark, a reasonable opener. First throw for his country, and you'd have to be reasonably happy with that. He'll build on that. Personal best of 68.42. Yes, a very nervous throw for this man from Perth. He's a student. He also enjoys fishing away from the cage. But here he is, Sean Carlin, a high school teacher from Adelaide, the defending champion in this men's hammer throw. He's been in tremendous form, throwing over 77 metres twice. His PB is 77.66 metres. He's the Commonwealth and Commonwealth Games record holder. His sixth international appearance for his country. Sean looking, I don't know about those socks, Sean, but the rest of it looks magnificent. Having a look where the hammer is going to go very soon. And if you look at the red line when it goes out there, the red line is the Commonwealth Games record, Sean's record. If he can put it out near there, it's just about all she wrote. So he could clinch the gold medal with his very first throw. And he's just split with his long-term coach, Adelaide lawyer, Peter Brebner. And he's now advised by one of the England's national coaches, Alan Bertram, who also coaches Peter Vivian, an opponent here in this men's hammer. Here we go, Sean Carlin winding up, looking big wind up, good speed in the ring. Let's it go, no, didn't quite get onto that one. It's uh, about 68 metres, so it's still alive, and he's in second position. So he wouldn't be all that happy with that. Looked very tentative in the ring. If you have a look, he pulls back when he lets go, steps back. Wasn't a good start for Sean Carlin, but five more throws. So Sean Carlin, one of the warmest gold medal favourites here. That's... 68-62 for Sean. Paul head over 70 metres, just a touch over 70 metres, so the competition's still alive, Gordon. Yes, um, so Carlin in second place at the moment. His brother, his younger brother, Paul, to throw in um, a couple of minutes. We'll be updating you throughout the afternoon here from Centennial Stadium. This is Sean Carlin, his second attempt. Currently in second place at the moment behind Paul Head of England. Carlin is a notoriously slow starter but he's a seven-time national champion. Yeah, seven-time national champion, and, and interestingly, he was chased by North Adelaide as a junior footballer, a very good junior footballer, and you wouldn't be surprised with the size of him. Let's finish it now, Sean. Let's just send them all home. Here we go, Sean Carlin. Oh, no, he's hit the side of the ring. It's still going out there, and it's over 70 metres, so even though it hit the side of the ring, over 70 metres, and it's just a matter of time before that game's record goes, because the side of the ring, the side of the cage, sorry, took a lot of speed off the hammer, still went out over the 70. And if you noticed, he's a lot quicker in the circle that time. And uh, now he'll probably be in front after that throw and ready to really assert his superiority. It's like a jolt of electricity when uh, someone does a big throw or the big performance when you're out there. And uh, if the jolt's big enough, you're dead. And it's just a matter of time here, I think. Well, has he electrocuted the opposition yet? Not yet, but uh, it's coming. You mentioned um, as a, an AFL footballer, also he'd make a good rugby second rower at 110 kilograms and he, nearly two metres tall. Yeah, certainly wouldn't. He's just hit the front, 70 metres 24 to take a six centimetre lead over Paul Head, and he certainly would make, be awesome standing and watching that coming at you. You'd want to get Sean Carlin about to enter the circle. Throwing now, throwing in his tracksuit pants, so you can see that it is getting quite cold. Sean not even taking off the tracksuit pants now. And I don't think it's got anything to do with those green socks, Gordon. I'm just trying to work out uh, which club they belong to, but Sean Carlin in the gold medal position at the moment. It would really, it's really tough conditions for the field event people. It's so cold, they've got to stay out there for long periods of time. And here we go, Sean. Come on, let's go. Let it go. There it goes. It's out Big. there. It's out there. Yes, that's it. 74, 73 and a half metres. And I think that's all she wrote.
a big throw from Sean Carroll. There's the view from the top. He can relax now and really let go. But that is a good throw from Sean. Heel toe very much quicker in the ring than anyone else. Safe throw, and it's out there around about the 73 metre mark. And I can't see 73 48 for Sean Carlin. So that's put him three metres plus in front. He can now really concentrate on getting out one of those really big throws. Well, the big man's got them in the spin. After the break, we hope to catch up with the other Carlin. Paul, stay with us. A great deal of pressure now, the young man. Only 24 years of age, two fouls against his name. He's got a throw of over 65 metres to be certain of getting another three throws. Otherwise, he'll bow out in the preliminary rounds, and we just don't want to see that happen. So, Paul Carlin, come on, buddy, let's have a big throw. His personal best is 69.82, set in Adelaide last December. Here he goes. He needs a repetition of that performance. Come on, Paul. That's the way. Nice and conservative. Let's it go. No, 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 no. So, Paul Carlin, I think, well, I know, will bow out in the preliminary rounds, and that's a great disappointment for the Australian team and for the Carlins. It's going to take a little bit of the gloss off the win for Sean. But uh, let's just concentrate on Sean now, because our other two throwers, Dimi Dinosopoulos and Paul Carlin, will probably miss out on the top eight. Has taken the gold medal and it came with this third throw. The third of six, it was a very big throw of 73.48, and with me is Gary Huntington. Yeah, a good throw from Sean, 73.48, put it all beyond doubt. He might have wanted to throw a little bit further than that, but they seem to have a lot of problems with the wind out here, the hammer throwers. And well, a pair of gold medals, you can't ask for any more. Yes, a terrific effort here by Sean Carlin. He actually threw round about 75 with his last throw, but was unfortunately fouled. So as he did uh, in Auckland, when he came from fourth place to take the gold, he came out with a very big last throw, but in the cold conditions, there was a foul and uh, really not conducive for that uh, Commonwealth mark here today, Gary. No, it wasn't. It, the conditions, as I said, were, were quite windy and it was right in their faces and they seem to have a little bit of trouble controlling the, the hammer but once again bookend gold medals for sean carlin can't complain about that so sean carlin first paul head england second peter vivian third Dionysopoulos finished in eighth place and paul carlin failed to make the last eight more from the commonwealth games after the boxing kangaroo waves proudly culmination of a lot of work for this man and he's been under pressure the silver medalist as the hot favorite head from england great effort by the silver medalist as well the Englishman Paul Head and the bronze medal bronze medalist also to England Peter Vivian from England Peter Vivian taking third place behind Sean Carlin and I think Sean was feeling the pressure a little bit the other night. Well, yeah, I'm sure he was, but again, I think he was pretty confident going into it. He, he was a long way ahead of the other throwers. Great win to um, Sean. Congratulations to Sean, our first track and field medal. The traditional presentation of the flowers to the medalists. And it has been a cool day here at Centennial Stadium, but doubt very much whether that man is feeling anything but just pride no he's a great winner sean and he's a very well liked and respected member of the australian team so we're going to hear advance australia fair play for the first time and let's hope and now it's the first of many times here at this lovely stadium which holds 32,000 people not many here today but those who are salute the champion